Good morning, we're here uh, at Melrose Drive, roughly halfway between New Haven, which is over, over to the front of me here, and Leith to the hind, behind us. And we're here really because we found this wonderful section of a wall built in the 1860s, roughly between 1861 and 1864 for a railway. Good job. There's a massive seawall. You can see the size of these stones here. Each one probably weighs part of a ton. It's a fantastic piece of Victorian engineering. As I say, it was built in or completed in 1864 for the Caledonian Railway and it marks the edge of a seawall for a, a large railway goods yard which is over in this direction. Effectively in 1850 we'd be standing basically in the sea, probably maybe if we're lucky on the beach at, at low tide. So it's really showing the extension out of Leith Port through the industrialisation of the port. The railway itself was built in part through money supplied by the Duke of Buccleuch because he had a big uh, concern at Granton Harbour which is about two or three miles across to the west. And the railway line itself, we've got a goods yard here, it extends, you can now actually walk it today uh, as a footpath and, and cycle path and it goes in this direction basically parallel through Trinity towards Granton and it turns parallel with Ferry Road because all Ferry Road parallel goes then turns inwards towards Roseburn Murray, where Murrayfield is and links up with the, the hay market and the main lines. It's, it's really a combination of bringing in um, the goods and services and basically taking stuff out of the docks but also bringing passengers in in the 1860s. So it's a really fantastic piece of engineering. Um, effectively, you can sort of see it going along here. It's built in a, effectively a 45 degree angle to, uh, to prevent the actions of the sea washing away the, um, the goods yard. And it sort of basically would have formed effectively a, a triangle. So it's going down at 45 degrees. So it probably goes another four, five, six meters down here, cut into the actual Sand, and it probably would be the same angle on the other side. So rather than having a, a, a solid line like that, it may be actually a sort of triangle there. And what we're actually missing is the actual upper wall. So we've had a, a, a normal uh, vertical wall on top. You can just see the, the foundation course of it just there. That's great. Thanks, John. Thank you.